What's going on YouTube? Today we're taking a look at this awesome security light that I just installed. It's a floodlight with a 360 degree camera that pans and tilts and there's no way you're going to be able to evade this camera. It also has 3000 lumens for its brightness. You can change the color tones. There's a lot to like about this camera. Well, it's really a floodlight, but it's a camera. It's a flood camera, if you will. The installation was really simple. It only took me about half an hour to install, but if you're not comfortable, definitely get an electrician to install it. But if you're any type of handy, you can install this without any issues whatsoever. So let's go ahead and take a look at it together. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it. So what I really like about this camera, my eye in the sky that I like to call it, it's got a lot of great technology inside. The sensitivity level is something that you really are going to have to tone it down because this thing is super, super sensitive. It even notices the garbage truck while it's still on the street passing my driveway. The brightness level is insane. You're going to notice it follows me. So the pan and tilt feature works really, really well. Once it notices a human with that AI technology inside, it's going to start recording. It's going to start giving you alerts and it's going to follow that person until they get out of range, until they get out of that 360 degree range, which honestly is something that's not that easy to do. Look at the camera. It's right behind me and it's still following me everywhere I go. This camera is definitely tracking where I'm going. The alerts come really quickly, so it's a free storage system. They do have cloud-based storage if you want to, so if you want to do cloud storage, you can do that as well. The brightness level is insane. The motion sensitivity level is insane as well. This camera is just an awesome buy, so let's just check it out together. This is the camera, guys, and it's from Ufi. It's a sub-brand of Anchor, and it's a 2K Full HD floodlight camera with pan and tilt, 360 degrees. You have these beautiful 3000 lumen LEDs right over here. Just to go over the box and show you some of the key specifications here, live view and recording history, you get instant notifications to your device when something happens, multi-user access, smart alarm, you can set the zones where the camera is going to record, two-way audio is great, when UPS comes to deliver and you're not home, tell them just leave it in your front door and that's pretty much it. And then taking a look at the back of the device here, you get pretty much the same information, 360 pan and tilt camera coverage. Subject locking and tracking, two-way audio, 2K Full HD, IP65 waterproof rating, negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Works with your voice assistant, so just ask Google or Alexa to show you what's happening on your front yard, and you're going to be able to see it. All right, streaming the security light on bedroom display. This is the light and it's definitely a nice, nice heavy feeling light. I think this is very well made. And these are the panels that you can just unlock and adjust them any which way that you want. That's definitely important because I do want to shine to the left, to the right and in front in my driveway. And I'm happy that it's going to shine super bright as well. Here's your camera right on the bottom. And then I'm going to show you how to set it up because you do have to do a few things before you rush into installing this. So don't just get excited and put this up in the electrical box because you're going to have to take it down to do a few things. Now, other than that, guys, they do give you some stickers. So if you want to let your neighbors know 24 hours, seven days a week monitoring by Ufi, you can put these stickers anywhere and then they give you this bag of tricks. And there's a little S hook here to help you with the installation. And there's your quick start guide, which I'll just actually tell you how to do it right now. So first we got to get some juice to the camera itself. First thing that you have to do is lift up this flap and you get access to your micro USB cable, plug in a micro USB, get some power, download the Ufi app and make yourself an account. And then once you do that, flip open the camera here, you'll find the little QR code right underneath and you'll have to scan that. I would actually take a picture of it just so you have it in case you change devices. Once you do that, you'll be able to create an account and then you can go ahead and install this in your, in your electrical box. So let's go ahead and do that first and see what this is all about, guys. Now you connect it to your Wi-Fi network, just go ahead and, and put a location where your camera is. So I'm just gonna customize mine and put it put a name and call it driveway and then of course there's a firmware update available that's what i definitely like about buying from a from a real company such as anchor you always are going to get support no matter what so with ufi by anchor you're definitely well protected your privacy is protected and that's a concern that i have so i'm i'm really happy that i chose ufi so go ahead and install this or get an electrician to install it if you don't feel comfortable but i'm going to install this and then we're going to come back and check out all the cool features of the ufi security camera together so now before it gets too dark, I do want to show you the brightness level of the Eufy security camera. This is at 1%, if you can believe it or not. 1% is what this light is at right now. Now, if I go ahead and increase it, this is 10% brightness. You can see the illumination around me. This is only 10% brightness. Now, if we go ahead and switch it to about 50% brightness, this is the brightness level. Absolutely insane. 
pushing that up to 100, which you really don't need to. That's the brightness level, guys. You can see the floor behind me. You can see the ground. Definitely well lit up. This is the brightness level from the street. Again, at 50% brightness, you're still illuminating just about your entire driveway. And then here's that sunrise to sunset brightness at 1%. If I zoom into the light, you can see that there is a little blue LED status light. You can disable or enable that if you want to. I would turn off that status light if you want this to be a, a surprise to anyone walking up your driveway. Now, speaking about walking up my driveway, let's see exactly how long it takes for this light to get activated. In the car, this turns on just as I turn into my driveway. But if you're walking, if someone's just trying to enter your property, let's just see how long it takes before this light starts to shine, before it notices that I'm here. So again, you can adjust this motion sensitivity. And let's just see where I have it set. It should be coming on right about now. And yep, right on cue. There it's turning. And again, you can see the brightness level. I just got alerted on my phone and it's probably tracking me. As I try to evade the security camera, I jabber to see you right there. So again, it is going to track the person wherever they go, and so you're not going to be able to you're not going to be able to escape the UP camera. That's 100 percent for sure. What's going on? What's up, Jabber? Open up the UFI security application. You get a little snapshot on this loading page of exactly what's happening. You can quickly play your video files and see, see a live snapshot of what's happening. You also get to see your Wi-Fi level. You can turn on the light very, very quickly from the top there. And on the bottom, under events, is where you'll be able to see all of the recordings for any specific day. So let's just click on one and see what kind of recording it happened. Because you can see a snapshot, you can see a thumbnail of, of what it recorded. On this specific day, I must have just entered my driveway and I'm just about to exit the car. The UFI camera notices a human and quickly turns to that human and starts recording. And on the bottom, you can download it, you can share it, you can delete it. So again, it's a very, very well thought out application, very easily navigatable. Now going under settings is where the fun happens. So let's go over some of these settings together. I also do want to mention the storage. This device has eight gigabytes of storage built in. And Ufi says at about 45 occurrences a day, you'll get about 30 days of storage on device. But you can purchase cloud storage if you want to. That's just one thing I did want to mention. Under motion detection, there's a couple settings that I want to show you. One is called activity zone. And this is where you'll set up that zone where you want the camera to start recording. So I have it set up for my driveway. Obviously, if someone drives up or walks up, I want it to start recording right away. And you can set up a bunch of different activity zones if you want to. Under detection type, if you have a lot of animals walking around or whatnot, I actually like to see when an animal crosses my driveway. So I have it set to all motion. But if you want it to record just for humans, you can go ahead and change that to human type. Under detection range, obviously, this is where you want to kind of mess with that with that range detection, if you will. Now I have mine set to, to just about in the middle, but you can, you can increase that sensitivity on either side of this camera if you want to. So the left, the right, or the middle. Again, you can set up each zone separately, which I think is something really awesome, or you can let the camera do it automatically for you. This is something that, that you, can, you can play around with and see what actually works for, for your own situation. 
Now under monitoring settings, you have motion tracking. So again, it's gonna follow that individual wherever they go. And there's that tracking sensitivity level. Again, I kind of leave mine somewhere in the middle, but it all depends on your situation. You don't want your phone to start beeping at every single little thing. So just play around with it and see exactly, see exactly what works best for you. And you can set preset locations. So this way, when you look at your camera, it's gonna, it's gonna turn to a specific view. This is just something that you guys can do and, and set up that preset position. And here's that out of view detection. This is something that I think is really cool as well because you notice sometimes it started recording even before I came into frame. That's because of this out of view detection. And I've already showed you the, the light settings. You saw that brightness level. You saw that sunset to sunrise setting as well. And there's that color temperature. So if you want to change the temperature from warm to cool to white, you can go ahead and do so. Again, very customizable. That's the beauty of having LED lights. If you set motion activated lights, the lights will come on once it detects activity. And you also have a light activation mode, which can turn on only when it recognizes a human. Again, this is a smart floodlight. It has AI built into it. So it recognizes a human, it'll turn on. If it doesn't, it won't, etc., cetera, et cetera. The next setting I wanna show you is for app control. So when you ask Google or Alexa to show you your lights, you can also have a different color temperature for that action. And then you can also set the brightness level for that action. So again, you have different brightness levels and different color temperature settings for just about every situation. Going under recording settings, you can change the length from 30 seconds all the way up to 120 seconds if you want to. Video quality, you have streaming quality. So no matter what your bandwidth is where you are, it's automatically gonna, gonna adjust that quality so that you can see what's going on at your house or your office. Recording quality again, 2K HD, definitely awesome 2K HD, or you can drop it to full 1080p. I don't know why you'd wanna do that, but you can go ahead and do that as well. Night vision image adjustment is there as well. So if you have this mounted on a wall, it's gonna kind of adjust itself for that situation. Color night vision, I like seeing color night vision personally. Now under audio settings, the same thing. There's your two-way audio, so here's your microphone. You also have your audio recording on or off. If you don't want it to record the audio, you can go ahead and do that. And you can also change the speaker volume for the other person on the other end. I like to leave mine at 100, just so they hear what I'm talking about. Notification settings again, you're gonna get alerted on your phone. And I leave mine on most efficient because I'm just gonna get a notification right away when something happens. But if you want the full effect, you can switch that to full effect. So get a notification and then you'll get a thumbnail of what's going on. And then finally, within the UFI security application, you can go ahead and click on live view and see exactly what's going on. Then you have the ability to rotate. Again, it's a 360 degree camera, so you can just press on the buttons where you want to see. Or what's really cool with this light as well, you have this little look around feature, 360 degrees. The camera is just going to turn and show you everything that's going on. So it's like a quick snapshot of what's happening around you, what's happening in your, in your driveway or wherever you place this camera. I also want to show you really quickly within the application. If you want to record, you can quickly just press on the record button. You can take a snapshot if you want to. You can also disable the sound. So if you just want to just want to take take a look at your camera without the sound, you can go ahead and disable that. You can also enable or disable night vision right from this little view right here. And what's also awesome, you do have an alarm that if someone's intruding and you're not home, you get an alert. You can press this alarm and it definitely is loud. Just take a listen to how loud this alarm sounds. And then finally, there's a couple settings for security. So you have a home, away, disarmed, geofencing, and schedule. Again, there's a lot of customization that you can do with this. So if you want a quick setting for when you're, when you're away, you can go ahead and do so. There's that camera alarm that you can enable or disable. So if you're on vacation and you definitely don't want anyone coming around your house, this is a good option to have. And the same with disarmed if you're home. You have a lot of people coming for a party or whatnot. You don't want to get notifications all the time. So that's really it when it comes to the Ufi camera by Anchor. This is a this is an awesome floodlight camera. I can't stress that enough. Installation is really simple and there's so many customizable features, so many ways to customize the light and the sound and just about everything around it. I think this is an awesome camera, but let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. I really appreciate you watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.